Okay. Mm, let's see. Oh, and I want this axis equal. Let's put let's put there axis equal so that our square domain will be square and not uh, an, a rectangle. Okay, so there is our our rectangle. Both coordinates, uh, uh, the values one are where both uh, both x coordinates and y coordinates are between one quarter and half, uh, and y coordinates are going from top down, which is a bit strange, but that's the MATLAB convention. <coughs> we could actually change that because it looks so weird. We could here we could flip up and down y so that we get the coordinates going from down to up as is usual for y coordinates. And also here I think maybe Let's put here Let's put from zero to with step of one quarter up to one and with bigger font so that you can see and both X and Y. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here we have the 32 by 32 image where we put this one square in it. And so you see this is, oh, let's have actually a bigger font size. So this is the 32 by 32 version of our phantom and now we can have the phantom uh, in different sizes uh, if we want it to be bigger. Now we get a bigger resolution but the uh, phantom is the same. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean, but um, this is something really tedious now to do with MATLAB, so we will not do that. But the idea here is because, because uh, anyway, this is kind of correct, because this is the pixel numbering. These are not the X and Y coordinates, which should range between 0 and 1, both. So we should think that this is the unit square, where X and Y coordinates are ranging from 0 to 1, uh, and MATLAB is showing us the pixel dimensions of this pixel image, which is a different thing. So uh, my answer, I guess, is that uh, let's just think that this is a good thing. <laughs> okay, so I think it's time for the break. Let's add a couple of more rectangles, uh, 15 past.